Alright guys, it's time for another shoe review. Once again, I'm out here, it's winter. I've got an epic icicle behind me. And we're gonna talk about the Ultra Lone Peak 3.0, uh, the one without the Neo Shell. Uh, and I've also put spikes on it. So we're gonna talk a little bit about that too. So first of all, as most of you guys know, I dig the Ultra brand. They got the wide toe box, which allows for the toes to splay. Uh, and they got the zero drop, which allows a good forefoot form, good biomechanics. Uh, I love it. They produce pretty lightweight shoes. Uh, this one, the Lone Peak 3.0, very light, especially for the size of it. It's a, kind of a bulky shoe compared to some other models, uh, but it's still very light. The cushioning is, is moderate, you could say. It's not, it's not excessive, yet it's not super minimalist either. Uh, pretty good for uh, all-round conditions. I just made another review of the Lone Peak uh, 3.0 with the Neo Shell and the high heel. This one here, or the high upper here. Um, so you might want to check out that review. Uh, they're very similar. The, the things I have to say about this one is pretty similar to that other one. So you might want to check out that video as well. Um, it's basically, this shoe has an amazing grip. Underneath here you could see it's, it's really, really, really nice. Uh, whether you're on the trails or on the snow. Especially on the snow actually, I'm, and even ice, I'm pretty impressed with how good the grip is. So for a while I was running in some Lone Peak, the same shoe essentially, but just with the Neo Shell. I was running on the snow and the ice with that and that was, it was kind of fine, but of course, it was risky because suddenly you might slip, right? Or uh, sometimes going uphill, I didn't have quite, I was slipping going uphill. So I decided to put uh, spikes on it. I did that at a local running shop nearby, it's called uh, Löplabbe. I'll put a link to the shop in the description if you're in Norway and you want to check it out. Um, so they did a nice job here, just putting in little, little metal spikes at several places along the under the shoe and that just that gives it an amazing grip obviously especially even on ice like like you could head out on the plain ice and have super grip i just went for a run this morning and they were they were really good they got the gator trap so you can put gators on there's a rock plate in here obviously and uh, this one has uh, is, is is without the neo shell so that means it's not waterproof it's a breathable upper um, yeah, it's breathable, it's great. I don't, I don't really have any, anything negative to say about this shoe, the Ultra Lone Peak shoe. It's just such a good, sturdy, uh, solid shoe for, for tough conditions. You know, whether you'll be heading out on a tough trail or whether you're heading out during winter or, or, or in muddy conditions maybe, if you've got the Neo Shell edition. Uh, it's just, it's just a, such a good all-round shoe. It's, it's pretty, pretty stiff. Um, so it's not your, it's not the softest of shoes. And I remember when I started out using the Lone Peak, not this model, but another one, um, a while back, uh, coming from the Superior uh, shoe in the Ultra uh, range, going up to the Lone Peak, I noticed it was a bit more bulky, and I was like, wow, this is this is a bit heavier, a little bit bulkier. I'm not sure if I could enjoy it, but after having a few runs with it, the shoe softened a little bit and and i started really enjoying the protection it offers a lot of protection um, the cushioning is really nice it's a perfect sort of level of cushioning for for what i enjoy for most of my runs and uh, it's just a rugged shoe as well like you got good grip and it's a good good pretty hard like it's good for mountain conditions and stuff like that i find um in my limited experience so far anyway that's what i find so it's a shoe I'm very happy with and yeah, there's nothing more to say about it really. I suggest you check it out if you're interested. Uh, there's a link in the description, it's an affiliate link. If you wanna buy it, you can click that link and buy and we'll get a little bit of a commission. It's a good way to support the project, but the price remains the same for you. And just a disclaimer, I did buy this shoe with my own money. So I'm not sponsored um, to, to make this review. It's an honest review. I honestly uh, love the Ultra shoes and the Lone Peak shoes especially. And yeah, I just bought this shoe because I wanted another pair uh, to put spikes in. So I have this pair, then I have this pair, and then I have another 
uh, pair with Neo Shell that is uh, without the high uh, high upper. So that's it. Nothing more to say about it. Awesome pair of shoes. Go check it out. I hope your running is going well. Tell me about it in the description. What's what are you doing these days running wise? Have you do you have some awesome shoes? Are you running with spikes during the winter? Uh, what shoes are you using? Have you tried these? All that stuff. Let me know about it in the comment. I look forward to hearing from you. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Check out some of my other shoe reviews and uh, stay tuned for more content coming up. All right, have a good day.